Hi, I'm going to show you a way to properly upgrade the spindle motor in your Saint Smart 3018 Prover. As you can see, I have already installed the all aluminum spindle holder that has the larger diameter of 52 millimeters for accommodating our larger motor. As it turns out, Saint Smart has a package that has most of the materials that you'll need uh, to do this. Uh, there is a 300 watt spindle motor. There is a zero to 48 volt power supply. And it also comes with a 5K linear potentiometer for controlling the output voltage of this power supply. And we're gonna try to eliminate that so that we can control the speed uh, with our software. It also comes with a collet some connecting wires to connect your spindle motor to the power supply, and also some extra hardware here. If you weren't using the 3018 Prover, it does come with um, uh, an aluminum mount and some bolts for installing it on another type. So we won't be using those. So let's uh, get started. And the first thing we're gonna do is install the spindle motor into the 3018. I'm going to press it in until the bottom the motor is flush with the bottom of the mount and I'm going to rotate a little bit get the wires over here on the side okay that's good and then we'll tighten it up one thing I want you to notice on this is on the wires that go to this spindle motor I have already installed Anderson power poles. Uh, I like these connectors. They have no gender and they accommodate uh, uh, three different uh, currents. And uh, I believe this one here is a 15 amp capacity. Anyway, they're very nice. They're very easy uh, to crimp. They're very easy to connect and quick disconnect. So uh, I've already installed those and uh, maybe we'll get into that into another video. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move forward and uh, start working with the power supply. Okay, this is the zero to 48 volt power supply, and this is the back where the connections are. As you can see this, these three right here are V plus, these, were, these three are V minus, and those go to the spindle motor. Over here is where the mains come in. We have our ground, neutral, and line. So this is where we uh, uh, plug it into our mains. Over here, there is a JST connector that is a three pin, hope you can see that. And this is where the potentiometer would plug in. And we're temporarily, we're gonna plug that in. So we'll take our potentiometer here and plug in our JST connector. This will allow us to control the output voltage of the power supply. Uh, ultimately, we're going to discard this and we're gonna use our prover board, our control board to control that spindle speed. These are the leads that go to the spindle motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and install those. We have the red here, we're going to V plus. And the black, we're going to V minus. Okay, that seems pretty secure. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to connect our AC mains to the power supply. When connecting the mains, normally what someone would do was connect the mains through a power switch, but we wanna be able to control the power from our control board. So first of all, let me uh, connect this. I'm gonna take this and connect that to the neutral this is one side of the mains. And this, think of this as a switch. Uh, this is an electronic relay, and we're gonna use this to control uh, the power coming into the power supply. Okay, now,
in order to apply power to the power supply, uh, what we're going to do is use the output that was previously used to drive the spindle motor on the Prover 3018. And what I've done is I've wired a two pin JST connector of the same type uh, that the spindle previously was plugged into. So I'm going to plug this into the spindle output on the control board. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Uh, we have our solid state relay in place. We have our mains connected and we have our spindle motor wires, which as I said, I had already installed these Anderson power poles. So that's how I'm connecting it uh, to the motor here. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we can turn on that solid state relay. So I'm gonna go here to the spindle control and turn that on. And you see the red light, the orange light that came on the solid state relay. And obviously our spindle motor is turned. So we'll turn that off. Now what I want to do now is focus on the speed control. Uh, right now we have this variable resistor in order to control our output voltage and thereby the spindle speed. So let's, uh, let's test that to make sure that that is working. Go back here, turn this on. You can see I have no control. I do not have control of speed from software at this point. So let's go over here and we'll turn that down. And we can see we are definitely controlling the spindle motor speed. Now the question is at this point, the question is, is that when it's turned up all the way, what is our power supply voltage? So we'll look at that right now. Okay, we're all set up and what I need to do is find out what the output voltage is of the power supply when the potentiometer is turned up all the way. So we'll know a voltage we're trying to achieve from our control board. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this. Looks like 51.6 volts, 51.6, 51.7. So that's with it turned up all the way. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna remove this. It's probably not the best way to remove that cable, but I'm not ever gonna use it. <laughs> okay, so I have made I have made a JST connector that uh, three pins uh, over on this one. The bottom pin goes to V minus the center was the wiper or control voltage and the top was five volts. So we're only going to use the control voltage and the common or the V minus. I'm going to plug that in. And uh, I will show you where I have plugged it on the other side into the uh, Prover control board. On this board, there are three JST connectors. Uh, these first two are pulse width modulated. This last one is a zero to five. Zero to five volts. I'm going to plug that in there. And that will track uh, the spindle motor drive, five volts being maximum. So we have that plugged back over here and we're going to give that a try. Now that we have our control cable from the control board to the power supply connected, we'll turn it on to maximum RPM and see what kind of uh, voltage we're getting out of this power supply. <laughs>
it looks like 47.2, and this is expected. The output impedance, which I measured earlier on the output of the control board is about a thousand ohms. The input impedance of this power supply on that uh, reference pin, the center pin, is about 10,000 ohms. So we expect that to um, basically think of that as a voltage divider. So we're losing a little bit of control voltage, but it's easy uh, to remedy that. And we'll get into that now. Okay, I have wired this is our JST control, and I have wired in another wire that goes to the same center conductor uh, of the JST, which is our reference or control voltage. Uh, and in this wire, I have installed a 100,000 ohm resistor, and we're gonna use this as a pull-up resistor to make up for the loss from the control board. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this now. And my pull-up resistor, I'm going to place this on the V plus on the power supply. I had already calculated uh, the current required to make up for the loss from the control board. So let's try that. I have it turned up all the way in software. Fifty-one point six, very good. Now I have control of the speed from software. I'm doing this from my Gerbil control. And that's up all the way. And that's off. It's a quick demonstration of uh, the control of the spindle motor after we've made these modifications. So it does work and that is what we had intended. We now have control of power and spindle speed from our software. I hope this video was helpful to those of you who want to upgrade your 3018 Prover. I know that I was quite pleased with the 300 watt spindle motor. It's even better than the 500 watt spindle motor I had installed previously. It is more well balanced, less vibration, less noise, and therefore makes cleaner cuts in aluminum. If you have comments or questions, please post below. I'll do my best to answer any questions. Let's see, my next project, I'm going to try to gain control of the spindle motor on either the new Sane Smart 4030XL or the Fox Alien 4040. Can't make up my mind, and I can't buy both of them. In the meantime, keep building, keep experimenting, and have fun.